What's up YouTube, Jason here with Bye Bye Biz. Today's kind of a random video and I apologize if I look a little uh, greasy. I just got off work, so uh, I actually did some physical labor today. It was kind of weird, but uh, anyways, I finally got something in the mail that I ordered a week and a half ago, somewhere around there, and I'm pretty excited to open it. And I think it's gonna do a little bit for my channel to uh, improve the quality of my B-roll. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox that, kind of talk about you know what it is, what it does, and how I'm going to use it. Now, what I actually ordered is the Rhino Slider, and I got the Rhino Slider Pro with the Arc and the Motion. Uh, it cost a little bit of money, probably more money than I should have spent on a slider in my current size of YouTube channel, but uh, I am pretty excited to use it, and there are some things that I made a compromise on that I'm going to have to purchase down the line, um, but let's go ahead and get it opened up and see what's inside. Okay, so first of all, I kind of want to apologize for the audio, uh, the microphone that I have for this camera. Uh, I'm using the built-in microphone now, but the microphone that I have that I use for all my other stuff is great, uh, but it doesn't work well with the camera, with the attachment and adapter that I have. Uh, it causes too many spikes, so I'm just kind of running with the regular camera, um, so just kind of bear with me. But uh, if you guys have watched or seen some of Jay's Two Cents videos, you're probably going to recognize this device, this Rhino slider, because I actually got the idea from him, or he introduced me to the product and thus forced me unwillingly to buy this expensive item. Um, so yeah, I basically bought it because of Jay, and um, actually that's, that's pretty much all I need to say. This is grease. <laughs> this is literally just a bunch of lube. <laughs> I have a full box of lube. It's Prima Lube for all your lubing needs. <laughs> okay, so that's apparently just a big box of lube and I'm not gonna unbox the rest of it because it's just lube. Anyways. Okay, so again, I got the, uh, the Rhino slider, the motion, and the arc. Now, the motion is basically going to move it back and forth on the slider automatically, and the arc is going to turn it automatically. At least that's the idea. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now I know that's probably the most professional unboxing you have ever seen in your entire life and you are thoroughly impressed. I know, I know this, I understand, I accept that. All right, so this is the final product. I can put my tripod head on this. Actually, false. I put this on this. There you go. And then this is just pretty much gonna slide just like that to give me some super smooth B-roll or whatever project I end up using this for. I actually have a lot of ideas for this for some future things that um, are kind of in the works right now. So got some ideas to use it with. I can't wait to use it. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to do some setup on this to get it uh, kind of working. I'm sure that goes on there somehow, but uh, I'm gonna get this set up and then try out some test footage. Okay, so I have the camera now mounted. Uh, it's running off battery power for the motion, or not the motion, the arc. So uh, I can go to live motion. I can turn the wheel. This is. Alrighty. Mm. Okay, so now the head, I can rotate. Okay, that's weird. Oh. Hello. Move. All right, turn wheel to point the camera. All right, let's do, let's point it to where Let's make it to where it is going to be pointing at those boxes right there. Okay, so it's pointing at those boxes. Set in. Camera's moving to out. Turn the wheel to point the camera. Okay. And to point at the boxes. Perfect. Set out. the fuck? Um, okay. Okay, I don't know what the fuck that does. Create a move, ready to calibrate. Let's calibrate. Let's try this again. First one, turn the wheel to point the camera. All right. Point it at the boxes, okay. Point at the boxes, okay. All right, there we go. Create a move in. Uh, I don't know what that is yet. Move to in. Let's 
Let's move to him. Okay. Duration. Uh, let's make this uh, zero minutes. And let's do it in six seconds or whatever. Ramp. I don't know what that is. Loop. Sure, why not? Start. Go. Oh, wow. Okay, so I got it set up, got everything tested a little bit. It's kind of interesting. Um, now I'm about to try something that I was actually worried about when I purchased it. And pretty much that is mounting it on my tripod with just the single tripod. Now, I got the Rhino Slider Pro with the metal rails. Now there's carbon fiber rails that are lighter weight, of course, um, but I just assume not as strong or durable or bend proof or whatever. Um, I got the four foot version because I want the most use out of it. I don't want to be limited by the size of it, uh, but I do want to in the future get the two foot version just so it's easier to use and I can just whip out the you know longer rails as I need them. But the thing is, is that the way that this is set up is it has a mount to mount it in the middle of the slider. Like let's say this is a slider, it has a mount to mount it in the middle. So it'll be sitting on the tripod in the middle. Um, but my fear is that the weight is going to be too much once I slide to one side to another that I'm probably going to need to use two tripods. I did not order a different set or another tripod or anything like that because for one, the tripod I bought was like 300 and some dollars. So it was kind of expensive. It's like 360 bucks or something. Uh, but for two, I actually still have an old tripod that I replaced that one with. And my thinking is, is that the weight is going to be half as much. So you know, if I'm just like balancing one on each side, then it shouldn't be as much weight so the legs should not get out. And furthermore, just to play it safe so the weight wasn't, won't really matter at all, I can just duct tape the leg. Uh, that way I won't have to worry about that at all. It's just going to, you know, just be there. It's not going to retract or do anything like that, but I think if I'm setting something up like a, an area that is going to specifically be for, you know, rhino, uh, rhino slider, you know, B-roll, then I can just set up something a little bit more static. Um, this is this is one of those things where I know it's going to be more expensive the easier I want it to be, uh, but for now I just wanted to get with it, and even if it is cumbersome, be able to produce content with it, uh, and then once I can afford more items to make it easier to use or to move around or to get into different places, then I can do that down the line. Uh, this is just more of a starting point. So let me show you what I'm gonna try to do. This is my new tripod. Uh, I got it all set up um, to where it has the wider base now. I mean, it can be adjusted. So I'm going to hook up the uh, slider to this and I'm gonna hope that I can slide it back and forth without any kind of crazy bending. So we'll, we'll see how that works. Yep. Well, it feels pretty sturdy, so I'm going to go ahead and take this metal cage thing that I have off of my camera so it's less weight, and then I'm going to put my camera on it and see how well it works. Okay, that's good. That is good. Okay, so it's obvious that it kind of...
kind of wobbles a little bit, but that's only if you hit it hard enough. Yeah. It's only if you hit it hard enough. So, I'm going too fast. Kind of. I'm going. This is full speed right here. Kind of wobbly. Okay, so I'm going to create a new move, and actually, I'm going to move this. I'm going to set something up, and I'm going to create a move so I can showcase something. So, BRB. All right, so I set this up. I got it mounted. Got it pointing at my uh, item. And duration. Let's do 20 seconds. I know that's kind of a long one, but... 21 seconds it is and I'm gonna loop it and go Okay, so I got my test B-roll done. Um, I got it set up over there still. So uh, I wanna bring that into the computer, take a look at it and see how smooth it is. It looks super smooth and I'm definitely excited to see uh, how the video uh, turned out. So that's gonna be interesting. I hope to be able to use this in a lot of videos or all of my videos where I possibly can considering how much it costs. It's like 16, 1700 bucks uh, and I'm not even done because I'm gonna have to Actually, I don't know. This is kind of why I wanted to buy the, the, the four foot version uh, first and not buy the two foot one because, you know, it is heavy and it is big, but I might be able to work with it, um, possibly. I don't know. I'm going to mess with it. I'm probably going to mess with it for like a month or two and just, you know, make some videos and see if I want to get the smaller one. So, um, and then I can make a decision from that. Anyways, I showcased my AR-15, my Smith & Weston m p 2 uh, Basically, it's I just got done probably three days ago, four days ago, um, adding on all of my accessories to it. It's a new gun for me, so uh, I took it down and shot it before I added accessories. Now I have some optics on it and some other stuff, as you saw, and I'm going to take that over to my cousins and sight in the scope and get ready for the summer where I can um, play with it a little bit more. So that's gonna be kind of cool. I actually made a whole video adding those accessories and added it to a second YouTube channel I just created. But um, that that channel at the moment, it's not really developed. And I think I have an idea of where I wanna go with it. And it's not really gonna be anything close to what this one is. So um, I don't really think I'm gonna hoard out or anything. But yeah. Anyways, um, sorry for the vloggy style. I know it's kind of random but you know I got this new toy and I wanted to show it off it's kind of cool uh, I, I might talk more about it in another another video once I had a chance to play around with it and maybe give it a review or something uh, I think that would be kind of cool to see what kind of footage I can get how creative I can get with it that sort of thing see what else I need to buy in order to really get the most out of it whether it's another fluid head another tripod I think actually the way it's set up even though it flops around a little bit at the tips uh, I think as long as it's going slow enough it shouldn't really be a problem. I mean, it seems to be able to handle the weight pretty well. So um, I'm, I'm definitely excited that I don't need another another tripod. Um, but I'm going to mess around with it. I'm going to see. Because Jace Two Cents, he has two tripods, and he only has a two-foot version. But he also has the carbon fiber ones. At least that's the ones he's using right now. So um, I'm going to have to take a look at that and figure out if I need that, if that's an issue, or if it could be an issue, and then I'll kind of go from there. So... Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to get this cut together real quick uh, tonight, hopefully get it updated or uploaded, and uh, start playing around a little bit more if I have some time. 
um, just to kind of play around with some b-roll. I actually I got that mini PC over there that I need to get some b-roll of before I start testing it. Uh, I do want to test the Byte PC first because I haven't played with that yet. I'm kind of interested to see how that performs as an HT PC. So look for that video soon. Hopefully, maybe by this weekend. I don't know. I have some issues with the house, which I probably should talk about maybe another time. But anyways, we might be moving. So yeah, this weekend we might be looking at some houses. Got a tangent a lot. Anyways, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe below. Have a good day.